Hi everyone, for those watching the video and who have not yet read the accompanying article, which you can find in the description, this video will showcase how I configure an automation triggered by Home Assistant events related to the cover integration. Recently, a member of my Home Assistant community posed the following question. How can I configure an automation triggered by Home Assistant events? Specifically, he sought guidance on automatically toggling an input Boolean to on whenever the cover stop service was invoked. As you can see, the cover integration provides several services to move the cover up and down, set the cover position, stop a cover, adjust the tilt, and more. Each service can be manually used or invoked by a home assistant automation. In this video, I will focus on the stop.cover service. Are you ready to start? To fulfill the request of my community member, I have to configure the following input Boolean helper. This will be turned off by the automation as soon as the cover stop event is fired. Now, let's see how to properly configure the automation. The trigger section is the more interesting part to delve into further. It causes the automation to be triggered when the stop cover service call is generated for the cover shutter specified by the entity ID. The condition section ensures the automation's action is executed only when the state of the input boolean is on. The action section is super simple, it just sets the input boolean to off. Now let's see how everything works. The first test is to ensure that the automation's action is executed. So I'm going to turn on the input boolean before moving and stopping the roller shutter. Now let's begin by closing the roller shutter and then stopping it. The expected behavior is for the input boolean to automatically turn off. Wow, it worked perfectly. Now let's test the second scenario where the input boolean is already turned off when the roller shutter is being stopped. As you can see from the automation trace, the automation is triggered, but the input boolean is not turned off since the condition is not met. Our automation has correctly managed even this second scenario. You can type the code from the screen for free, but to help you save time and avoid making any mistakes, I've created a pack for these automations. You can use it to set up everything super easily. You can download the pack for the price of a coffee through the Kofi link in the description. In the meantime, you are supporting me to keep this channel alive. I truly hope you have found this video helpful. To stay ahead with the latest tips, tricks and in-depth guides, ensure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. By doing so, you'll be the first to know about my upcoming video tutorials. Thank you for being a valued part of my community.